Hey guys, Trollmaker here, playing XCOM 2. And uh, as far as objectives go, I have to get this Shadow Chamber built. It's an actual objective. And with that, I will also be... Please, go, go, go away screen. I will be going towards the map here, grabbing some supplies, and then expanding into the uh, Western United States for my seventh contact is pretty darn good. I'm trying to stretch out what I have because I don't have a lot. Wow, this is really slow. Uh, come on. Load up there, big boy. Is that two supply drops? Or the same? No, it's the same supply drop. I was like, what? Overgrown checkpoint. Okay. Um, that's strange. Uh, so this overgrown checkpoint is actually in my home province of Newfoundland, Canada. So in terms of the map, what's in Canada, what's not, this is Canada. The black market is Canada. Kind of strange. You know, uh, resistance would be in more like New York area. Uh, this region here is called Northern Quebec, and there's nobody up here. There's absolutely nobody up here. It's no. And this is my little province of Newfoundland. Um, it's very tiny. Very, very tiny. But uh, it's bigger than most European countries at the same time. So let's get that shadow chamber built. Shazam! See how this works. Thanks, Jaren Leroy. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. New objective added. Okay. New objective added. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent Black Site, Commander. With the Shadow Chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the codex artifacts recovered by our forces. Ooh, all projects will be suspended. Well, that won't matter too much because I'm actually a little bit behind in terms of money. Uh, what am I missing here? I was supposed to do something. Yes, I remember what I was supposed to do. Um, so we completed that facility. So... Them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. So that gives me a lot of power here. And I'm going to have to take one person off to build a new facility. I need another resistance comms. So right here. That's gonna be three power. I have enough power. Resistance communications facility construction. Looks like I can upgrade this one as well, so maybe it's not as necessary as I thought it was. 125 supplies, 4 more power. Hmm. Something to consider for the future, I think. Uh, so we're going to speed up this resistance comms by putting in an engineer. Uh, so who do we have here? Clearing Alien Debris, Clearing Alien Debris. Well, we're going to get Clara Ferguson to do this, and that'll give us 8 stinking days. <coughs> to build that facility. And maybe later I can upgrade my resistance comps, getting more resistance communications. Now the last of our supplies. I'm going to ignore. And we're going to ignore that as well. And I'm going to go right off the bat, go get this position here. And this will give us the uh, western US. BAM! New contact made! Is this different people? Looks like different people than regular. So maybe they have a select few number of uh, shots. New regional contact located. So we have the new Arctic. And after we make contact with the new Arctic, we'll probably be able to jump in here. Or we might have to go here. Fire when ready. 
What's this? A benefit. All experimental ammo, grenade, and weapon proving ground projects are completed instantly. What? Proving ground objects? That's the really expensive, hard to get guys. Okay, so I need to have my resistance comms finished. It's going to take seven turns, and this making contact is going to take longer than that. So I'm going to need to find a place to hang out for a bit. So I'm going to head over here to this particular checkpoint, and we'll get some more supplies. And we'll get the black site vial done, in the least. Still can't believe it's come to this. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences. In near-infinite combinations yet all bearing similar genetic markers. Human markers. There must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands, and the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from, by cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar, just what exactly is in that vial? In my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. A high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. They do that thing where they just look you in the eye. So. Hopefully, stopping this facility will slow down the Avatar project, because I've kind of screwed myself pretty heavily on that. Um, where is he? It looks like we've got something cut out for us, Commander. Yeah, before I decide whether to research this or something else, I would like to see where this actual black site is located at. Okay, investigate. Oh. We have the coordinates of the alien forge facility. I've marked its position on the map. We'll need to contact nah. local resistance before we can attempt to move in, though. We're not even close to that. We're closer this way almost than that way, but not actually. Okay. Uh, that kind of sucks. Oh, wait a minute. I still have another contact available. How does that work? Okay, um, well I don't need these supplies that badly, so I guess I can continue with my ghost weapons or <coughs> whatever you'll have to go to the new Arctic. Uh, so it's time, three to five days, 30 until times link distance to nearest radio. Let's see what the link distance works out being. Wow, he's going the wrong way. Maybe that's actually the fastest way. I'm pretty sure it's not, though. <laughs> kind of strange. Okay, so this will be our final contact here. 
Let's see what we got here. Shadow chamber running the numbers. These are the tactical projections for our next field operation. Oh, that is neat. It tells you exactly what's here as well. That is very, very neat. So this is 184 supplies with a uh, moderate difficulty. This is an engineer. We don't need engineers just yet. And this is a scientist, which we don't need. So supplies is what we need. And this is actually moderate difficulty. So I'm going to go knock this one out. <coughs> nice thing is that apparently this uh, position here links to those two. So I'm actually probably fine, which is good. It's good to be fine. Let's uh, go ahead and knock this one out, though. Uh, so moderate difficulty. Let's see who we have available with us here. Uh, sharpshooter, Grenadier, and... Uh, okay. And everyone but our Grenadier is equipped with something special. What's our Grenadier missing? Armor, perhaps. Wait a minute. Do I have two Grenadiers? Ranger. Yeah, I do. I actually do. So let's lock this Grenadier out and see if I have someone else I can bring in here. <coughs> um, what do I need? Specialist, right? Yeah, Specialist. So let's bring in Doreen Murray, who is a low-level specialist. Um, not much for power here, but does have a nice weapon. And see if I can if I can upgrade that weapon at all. I think I can. Yeah, I, I have stuff available. In fact, I only have just enough for her. So aim chance and aim chance. Do I get two of these? <coughs> oh wait, derp, derp, derp. The other one is miss shots, deal one damage. So not the best of the uh, particular add-ons, but it's what I have available. Go. I'm actually mildly surprised. I actually kind of thought that I had, uh, I didn't have these guys available. I mean, I used them last time, right? Okay, Operating Driving Future. Just random names. Okay, and here comes the giant loading screen. Followed up by, of course, a secondary loading screen. So let's see, <coughs> I've talked about Guadalajara before, but uh, mostly about how I didn't know what it was. Guadalajara, according to my cell phone, is a, a city in Mexico with a lot of beautiful scenic churches and arches and that sort of stuff. It has its own separate flag from the rest of Mexico, its own coat of arms. In Spanish, it's La Perla de Occident, the Pearl of the West. Well, that's beautiful. It's not along the ocean front, so it's probably not much of a resort town. And it has 1.5 million people, and is a giant area, bigger than most Canadian cities. And it's the 10th largest city in all of Latin America, Jesus. And it's their cultural center of Mexico. Okay, so this, and they had the Pan American Games there. That's where I know the term from, the Pan American Games and the International Film Festival. And I, okay, I know this place. Not really, though. I still don't know it. Mexico City. <coughs> in a lot of Canadian textbooks, is indicated as the largest city in the world. Not the case anymore. That has since moved over to uh, Beijing and Hong Kong. And uh, Mexico is, Mexico City is now like a fourth or fifth largest city in the world. It tells you how crazy population booms have been in certain countries. Protect data. Nice concealment. Okay, so let's get... Who is this? This is our really crappy, really crappy support unit. Everybody's concealed, so <coughs> we can move pretty fast. So I just have to neutralize all enemies. Um, I don't even really know what I'll be 
going after it here. I assume this is crappy cover on my part. But look how much health my guys have now. Jesus, this heavy is just loaded full of health. No. Position confirmed. <coughs> nice thing there's no civvies here. And I have eight enemies total to kill. There's the data device. What? They're actually pulling okay, I actually okay. Okay. That's making me panic a little bit. They're taking shots at it already. Oh, Murray, you and your Scottish ways. One thing I will say about the Scottish is that they are most definitely the most historically oriented people I've ever met. Uh, some of my college buddies were from Nova Scotia, which is New Scotland, and they had direct Scottish ancestors within, you know, like they say their grandparents were Scottish and speak uh, Scottish Gaelic, which is different from Irish Gaelic. And uh, they could remember back their clans about, you know, hundreds of years ago. About various travesties hundreds of years ago. Oh, there's one. Do we have two enemies there, hopefully? It's barely worth breaking concealment for one enemy. Anyway, we'll get everybody in position. And uh, a, a couple of them, and I, I don't want to say their last names, but they're from... Uh, a Mac clan and a non Mac clan, we'll say. And they. Oh, there's some more enemies. They, um. would always be at each other's throats about the uh, various travesties that their own families uh, did against each other. You know, there's no rational logic behind any of this. It's just how they would argue with each other. And it was very wonky and very, very bizarre. And they'd always remember, like, oh, you know, your family, you know, did this to mine on this particular day, and and it's just like, you know, to you know what, what point do you forget this stuff? You know, what to, what point do do people move on with their lives? And for the Scottish, the parent answer is never. They never move on ever. And perhaps these are just because they're second generation Scottish, and all they hear is the stories. That's also a possibility. Now I want to try something here. I want to see see how far this rocket launcher will actually go. Can it go away here? Uh, yes. So I'm going to do a rocket launcher attack here, which is going to do four damage on everyone, as well as shred the armor of Z Sky here. I don't want to kill any civvies though. Um, and then we're going to put everybody else in Overwatch, and this is going to give everybody a free high, 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 high damage shot. All right, so we'll go with that pistol. It's best I got. So here we go. And this will also prevent them from uh, further destroying. Downside is there's another group of enemies here. <coughs> They're not the only ones. They're the ones on the other side here. So maybe they'll get involved. Let's see if we can get see if we can get all the kills off of one round of Overwatches. So looks like the big guy's gonna be the one moving. Nope, little guy actually. Pistol shot on him with a high damage shot there. And the alien survives, so he's going to have the ability to uh, bring somebody up probably. Uh, here comes the other group. So that we have a, a mech, a stun baton guy, and what else? Just that, eh? And I have another Overwatch shot, I'm pretty sure that I didn't burn through, but mmm. So it's not gonna trigger. Uh is this panic or is this full on mind control? Okay. And he doesn't get a turn for that, thankfully. Otherwise we'd be in a lot of trouble. So in order to get that back, I have to not kill my mind control target. 44% chance, that is not good at all. Wait, is this target still concealed? 
how in the hell is... Okay, well, I get to take an extra shot in concealment. Ha ha! 100% chance to shoot. You never see a 100% chance to shoot. It's always like 97. So I think I probably put a, a scope on this person to get that perfect shot. And that's going to... Inflatable is now... I forget what that does. Something big and important. But I really do forget what it does. Um, so I can't hack this person. So what I'm going to do instead is do a pull back down to here. This is going to be a big jump. Watch these giant jumps that I do. So there's two guys that are kind of scary here. And I'm going to do Overwatch. Now this person here gets what? Extra moves. That's right. So I'll put full cover over this way. Um... So after I kill these two, there should be three more guys. Which is actually not too bad as far as mission goes. Okay, now our sniper will be doing a long watch. Long watch is really cool. Fire on the first enemy that moves within your line of sight, in squad sight. So it's the first target that anybody sees, which is amazing. So everyone's on overwatch. Well, not everyone. Three people are on Overwatch. And, oh, we have a faceless, so that would be up to... These are six enemies out. There's two more out there after this. So this faceless might burn through all of our oversights, perhaps. Let's see, I was really hoping to get this mech with it, and looks like we're going to get a mech with at least one of them. Uh, right one, too. He's one that... Oh, miss, 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 miss. Not good. Well, we got a second shot, a long watch shot, and that one's also a miss. Damn, that was... Okay, looks like you're going to get at least one shot off of my, my boys. Wait, <laughs> we have the third one. And it does the guaranteed one damage. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. Going after my lowest health target and gets a crit because it's an open field shot. I have to pull her back. And the stun baton is coming in and there's no overwatches for him. And he's going to go ahead and stun baton the heavy. Which leaves us full on unconscious for the rest of the mission. There's no timer on this or anything. I don't think. And our support has now panicked and has lost the will to fight, but we'll fight anyway. Three damage, two armored. I could not ask for more from a panic target. That's also my med kits though. Oh boy, he actually gets a turn. I was hoping he wouldn't get a turn here, but it looks like he will. So I have a lot uh, on my table here. And he breaks a lot of cover, that's just what he does. Don't panic. She has a history of panicking. Okay. Um, so I have two moves here to use. Now if I use Deadeye, I get extra damage off this guy. Which is not bad. So perhaps I can use that to... Wait at this guy. I could. Well, let's see what a grenade does. Cause that's six to eight damage. Grenades will not hit both. Okay. So dead eye is gonna be our best bet. Sixty-two percent of the faceless, and my cat hit the button. So that ends that. Okay, that was terrible. Okay, I actually have to bring this back a bit. So the game always gives you three saves from your three last turns. So this is the last turn I had. This is two turns ago, and this is three turns ago. So I'm going to go with two turns ago. Set this back a little bit in motion. Because um, this is transforming into an unwinnable situation. Uh, I have a 3v2 in which three of them have super high amounts of health. I have one person panicked who is not going to become unpanicked until the enemy's dead. And I have one person uh, totally unconscious and stunned. So I'm going to have to um, reposition a lot of my uh, overwatches. And also not pull that faceless one with uh, my ranger. Because that's how that happened in the first place. I pulled the faceless one with my ranger. Okay, so... 
Ranger still concealed. Gonna get that 100% shot on this guy. And that gives her extra moves. Cat! Okay. So instead of pulling her up, I'm gonna pull her back to pull cover. And I'll be doing the same thing with everybody else. Everybody else will be getting pulled back to full cover um, so that we don't repeat the mistakes that we made. This is better cover over here by a span. Because right there I had no cover. I was proxy to crits and all that sort of bad stuff. And See, this is full cover, but I'll put full cover this way. And we'll just do the pistol overwatch, and this guy will do full cover this way. Out. And can he launch a frag grenade up top? Oh, we've lost vision because I don't have anybody up there anymore. Okay, we'll just do the overwatch. Scanning. See how this works out by comparison? Oh, that is so mean. That is really mean of them. This faceless is not the same one. There's a faceless over here before. They actually uh, moved the faceless on me. That is exceptionally mean. So he... Oh, wow. He is on it. So... Two of them are over there, then. Well, at least this might give me better shots. Let's see. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the shred ability, which kind of sucks. We got a pistol shot, and we got a regular shot. Looks like he's going to be on the retreat. Faceless is going to move and break some cover, though. Or not. Actually, can go for a flanking attack on me. Which is not much better. Please don't kill. Just... Ooh, that was a miss. That's good news. Still in it to win it. He's just pointing at me like, uh, yep, I would have killed you. So let's move our assault back into cover. And we have a 100% chance to do all that damage. Well, not true. Looks like we got six of it. Six of the all that damage. And use my heavy for this. So 91% chance for a kill, which is what we want. Now I gotta move to defend the weapon, but I also have to cover people. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm gonna put this sniper on long watch. And this particular guy <coughs> is gonna move from full cover to half cover and overwatch, just so I can kind of creep them over a little bit towards uh, the objective, which is getting battered by what I surmise to be two people. Two people hitting that target. Now it's her turn to cover. And this person will make the long run. Because <coughs> yes, there are two other targets there who I eventually have to hit, but um, they're not the only targets. And this person's going to go to uh, cover from this position. Might have a shot here. What is that? There's something in there and I can't quite make it what it is. Okay, and then this person will do the long run. So this sniper's very much in, out in the open to the mech and uh, stun batoner, but I have two overwatches covering right now. And looks like we're going to be hitting the Viper. Wow, that was a high damage shot there from our boy. Oh, that's not right. They said there'd be eight people here. I'm now counting nine. That is moderately unfair, isn't it? Okay, I can actually shoot a rocket out this way, though. And looks like more boys are coming in. Yep, that will be the case. So... 
Uh, priorities, 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 priorities. I can't shoot a rocket. I already did that. So I can launch a grenade at where? Wow. I can only get this bar. That is the suck. Uh, okay. That's... I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that for now. This guy. Who can he shoot for that much damage? Nice. Nice. Um, hopefully this deals all the damages I need to deal. And it does! We're good. <coughs> so that means the mech will probably be coming around again soon. I did a lot of damage to him, which causes him to retreat. But, uh... Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Is that an expression these days? Okay, so I'm going to slide in here. I'm going to hit a flank in position. And we're going to use conceal here. will allow her to rush on in here and get a position as well without being, you know, hit. Now, 54% chance. So maybe I will use this. There are four enemies on the map and getting rid of the Viper will be huge. Three to four damage. So this doesn't necessarily mean it's going to kill. Here, catch. That's what it means. Plunk! Could kill though. It'd be nice if it did. Oh no, it doesn't kill. But it does remove his cover, so he's forced to retreat, no doubt. Okay, so he actually has a second viper there. I didn't see that in the first place. <coughs> so looks like this guy's gonna go and throw a grenade. Nope, he's gonna go for a shot. And that's a crit. That's bad. Okay, I'm gonna pull back the specialist, heal his specialist up. What's the viper gonna do? Grab the specialist probably. Oh, he missed! I can see that animation that the grab fail. Let's see what the other Viper does. Oh, you shouldn't get two shots at this. <coughs> so you're going to take a shot there. Well, let's see what the other sniper goes for. Busted. Ah, he's busted. Okay. Going to try and grab... Oh, poison! <coughs> you are all sorts of nasty, aren't you? And the mech still hasn't shown his face. Oh, and that's going to cause her to panic. Now, it, that did more damage than it should have. <coughs> so, what's this going to cause him to do? Please take a shot. Please. Yes. Ah, uh, it's a terrible shot. Okay. Uh, options are becoming more limited. I'm going to move this sniper into a different position. Maybe this full cover over here that's not embroiled in badness. And we will take a pistol shot at our 100% chance to kill target. Please be 100% chance. It's got a 40% chance to crit. I know that much. And it's a miss. You. Okay, that kind of sucked. It's going to set me back a little bit. Um... Okay, so I got to pull this person back to not crap cover, which is just going to be over here, actually. Affirmative. Moving out. And med pack heal up. <coughs> and that's only a med pack heal, unfortunately. So that's been burned. 100% chance to hit here. 100% chance. Miss. And it was a crit. It's golden. Our golden child is still the product of a better relationship. Now we might see a grenade here because I have a lot of really cluster guys. I really forget what impl oh, implacable means I get to make another move. I always forget what that means, but that's exactly what it means. I get to make another move. So I'm going to move a little bit back here. <coughs> uh, so we spread everybody out a little bit so that if this guy throws a grenade, it won't hit as many people. But looks like he's going to go for a shot, maybe. No, he's going for the overwatch. That kind of saves me a little bit. Oh, that hurts me back. Okay, let's see if my panic target doesn't run around like a mad person and instead takes a shot. That'd be great. One damage, poisoned. Think they got me. Not gonna make a move though. Just gonna hunker down. Well, there could be worse, I guess. Okay, so this person can't do the knifey attack. 
until I remove... Um, ooh, Deadeye is so terrible right now. Oh, all of his attacks are bad, actually. So let's throw a grenade. Let's bust open this wall. Okay, I just gotta spin the angle around here and make sure that actually hits him after we bust open the wall. Okay, this should take out the wall, <coughs> and this should take out him. Well, deal damage to him. Shred his armor. And armor shredded. Dead Eye is now gone. Wow, I actually have a sick chance at critting this guy. He could die right here. 55% chance of crit. Let's do it. And 8 damage, that kills him. Nice. Nice. And my other person still panicked. <coughs> oh, and I still get implacable. God, I love that ability. Um... Do I have anybody else who can move? I don't think I do. So maybe I'll move a little further away over here. I'm hit. I'm hit. Who's hit? Oh, this person. Who has two health points left. <coughs> so we have to stop the constricting before this person dies. This poison's becoming brutal. Bound. Please don't do more than two eight points of damage. Looks like we're golden there. Okay, 24% chance to do that. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. I can do the ninja chop. How much does a ninja chop potentially do? 98% chance to hit. <clears throat> and 4 to 6 damage. That's actually not a lot of damage. But, it's something. Wow, two whole freaking damage? Are you kidding me? Gotta do better. I stunned him. That brings him off the target. That gives me another round of turn here. I could kill this guy now. 99% chance to do 5 to 7 damage. Did it miss? It looked like it missed to me. No, it just hardly did anything. <sighs> 59% chance to shoot. Alright, I'm going to go for the kill. This guy has a hyper dodge chance or something. I don't know what it is. But it is driving me nuts. How easily he is able to dodge everything. Okay, I'm not going to let this guy fire. I'm actually going to have this guy on Overwatch. And the reason why is because I feel like the mech could show up at any time. So he's still stunned, so we're still good. He's still going to die. All that good stuff. I'm going to keep my specialist poisoned and back to panicking. Seriously? Are you, are you, you're joking, right? Literally, literally nothing new hit you there. Anyway, let's go for that slash. Um, I probably should have gave that kill to my specialist, who probably could have used that kill and would have freed me up an extra turn. But oh well. All is well that ended. Okay. Now there's no time limit on any of this. I'm trying to get her inside. I want her by the window in high cover. I hope that brings me to where I hope I think it brings me. Yes. Oh, is that the mech? Could could this potentially be the kill shot? I think it could be. Oh wow. But he does fall down a few stories. Kinda strange. Um Downside is that he's gonna get another shot back. And another faceless, so uh, the intel is definitely lying. <coughs> oh, you know what? Now I think about it, it makes a lot of sense. The intel wasn't necessarily lying, but the intel was not uh, super accurate. Because <coughs> faceless cannot be recorded in intel. So that makes a lot of sense, actually. And we have a miss on a reaction shot. That is the crap.
Okay, if he gets a kill on her, I'm just going to reload my last turn and make sure she doesn't stand there. And he's not going to go for the kill. Oh, they're standing in poison? Is that... No, that's not right. He's still just poisoned. I'm so morbidly confused right now. Okay, does she still have a shot on the mech? She only has a shot on him. The mech is still not with us. So 99% chance, 5 to 7 damage. Let's go for this. 7 damage, nice. That's the maximum amount that we could hope for there. Um, this guy is still very much poisoned. Well, I don't know if I'll put him on pistol overwatch yet. Let's see how this goes. I need 3 damage. So I can get that by just slashing this guy. Should be able to get that from just slashing. Nice. <coughs> okay. So that's all the enemies except for the mech. And I get implacable. Oh! The mech died from fall damage. That's weird. I, w I don't know why they wouldn't show... Like, they showed me he did some fall damage. He got one point damage from the miss, and he got one point damage from the roof falling under him, but it didn't actually show you the roof falling on top of him, dealing, uh, I think it's usually three points of damage, but because he's armored, it would only done one point, and those three things combined would have gave me just enough damage to kill him. So, yeah, very strange that they would not show that. Um, but, yeah... Uh, every mission that I've had successes, I've had pretty high shot percentage chance. Uh, damage is getting higher and higher. Before, I would have been happy with like a 3. And now, I <coughs> now like 4.77 is considered to be a low amount of damage per attack. Like 5 is a good amount of damage now. Specifically considering that there were 10 enemies that I had to kill in that particular region. Not 8. The game lied. But plus side, I'm getting some extra supplies from this. <coughs> So when I get the um, research complete on our Goss weapons, I will be able to get one or both of them right away, which will increase my squad strength, and I should be able also to afford upgrades on key facilities. I might even have to build another power plant. There's just so much stuff going on right now. Like, these little mini battles are nice because they get me more resources, but the big fight is on the overworld map. That's what I feel like right now, and uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, NO 2205, where combat is kind of like just a side game, and you know, it takes like an hour to finish one of these missions, but everything you do in those combat missions is really unimportant compared to the main objectives, which is, you know, to develop your infrastructure, and develop your, your civilians, and, and get supply chains going, and all that sort of stuff. So this is exciting. It's good to be in this to win this still. I thought that I, lo I lost a lot of turns early on by making a few pretty key mistakes, but none of those mistakes have really come to haunt me. Uh, this game isn't as uh, damning as XCOM was to you, where technology would just get out of control. That's the the end of it. Um, I don't know if I got any promotions that time. I don't. Maybe maybe my my specialist might. <coughs> my specialist did get a lot of shots, but not a lot of kills. <coughs> Unfortunately, I kind of. <coughs> gave a lot of the kills to uh, to my ranger because she has implacable to allow her to move extra and yes she doesn't get a promotion yay Murray okay so we're gonna go with medical protocol this will be my mix specialist because I have one that's full this side one that's full this side I'll have one that's mixed because there's things I like about each tree but I don't like about others uh, so everyone's dead except for our ranger who has <coughs> 28 freaking kills and has been on seven missions compared to Burns who has been on, you know, eight but has 17 kills. That's mental. That's absolutely mental. And yeah, for all that we get all this stuff including our uh, bonus supplies. 184 supplies. And we apparently countered the dark event Alien Cypher. And I don't know what that is. I have no idea what Alien Cypher is. I assume it's their ability to decode something faster because it's a cypher. But no idea. Uh, so we have 27 power left here. And um, anything I want to do before I go? 
much does he upgrade for this? 124 supplies. And 4 power. How much power do I have? <clears throat> I said, how much power do I have? So I will have enough power to actually put this upgraded resistance comms online. How much time does it take to actually upgrade this? Or is it instant? It's instant. So that's one extra comms. And I can put an engineer in here. <coughs> it will get me another one. Plus I have resistance comms building here. So I should be good. Um, two days in the Goss weapons. And then I'll be able to purchase at least one of them. At least one of them. Uh, but that's it for me today. Uh, hmm, that's fascinating stuff. Tomorrow, I guess I'll be continuing on making contact with, with uh, New Arctic, and that way I can make my moves on these two zones here, which I have no idea what they are. I assume this is China, all of China, and I assume this is all uh, Eastern Europe. Because it's kind of like in Russia. It's like... Uh, uh, the Ukraine, Poland, I'm not that great with maps. Actually, wait, no. Here, this is Ukraine, right here. Because this is the, what would you call this sea here? So this is still deep in Russia. This would be like, be like, uh, yeah, this is probably Russia. Because this would be, I, I keep calling it Leningrad, but it's like Petro, no, it's not Petrograd. St. Petersburg, this would be around St. Petersburg area. Yeah, uh, actually, and the only reason why I know where the border of Russia and Ukraine is, is because of the Crimean conflict. Uh, this here is the Black Sea, and, no wait, no, no, sorry, sorry, Black Sea. Am I right about this? No, this is the Black Sea right here, I'm pretty sure. And then this would give you access into uh, the ocean here, and, now that doesn't make sense, this is the Black Sea, because Syria would be right here, and there'd be a canal that goes through here, and, yeah. There would be a canal. So this is the Black Sea, and this would be the border of Russia and Ukraine. And see, I'm, I'm looking at this one. I'm thinking this must be it because there's like this looks like Crimea to me. This little nipple here. So this maybe this is. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe these whole maps are something wrong. Because I mean, this would be Turkey, right? So here would be Turkey. And this would be Italy. And then we'd have Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, not Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, Israel. So this has to be it. Am I wrong here? Like, But it doesn't look like the Black Sea. This looks like the Black Sea. But this looks like where it should be. Maybe I'm just going crazy blowing my mind out here. Maybe there's a, a river missing here that I'm just not seeing. But something's really hokey about this map. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And I've ranted long enough. My name is Trollmaker. Thank you guys for watching.